Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here playing some more Warhammer Combat Cards campaign mode. This is the second campaign of the week where we're playing as Chaos against Orcs. And this is the first campaign in which we can play as the new Chaos Warlord Skulltaker. So I'm using pretty much the same setup uh, as I did in the introductory video for Skulltaker. And it's been working out pretty well. A quick look at the mission rewards. You can earn a new card here, the Corn Berserker. Uh, this guy, like Boss Zagstruck, has a gun in his hand, but he does not use it. He only has a melee attack, and as can be accept, uh, expected uh, of a Berserker, he has the Berserk trait. So you can earn a bunch of copies of him throughout this campaign. So let's go ahead and get this battle started. Uh, we're at... Uh, let's hold on. What level am I? I'm at level 26 in the campaign. So Skulltaker has been doing really well here. I've won all of these games so far without m too much trouble. I've got an all melee composition. I'm making the most of Skulltaker's special rule. And we'll see what we're up against here. Boss Zagstruck. Of course, this is the new and improved Boss Zagstruck who has a very powerful uh, special rule himself. The AI doesn't actually know how to make the most of it though. Um, if All they have to do is go Psychic and they could deal a whole lot of damage with that, but the AI almost never chooses Psychic. So, let's see. Uh, we'll put down... Just put down this Blood Crusher down there. Start off with a few of these weaker demons. I do typically like putting down my stronger guys at the beginning. Now let's see what level this guy is. I think we'll put down Karn the Betrayer here on the right side to face off against that war boss. And they got a pair of tank busters out. We do have the first turn. Now this is a pretty high initiative deck. So I think right off the bat we'll be able to see uh, Skulltaker's special rule activate here. Uh, slicing off that tank buster's head. And also the war boss going down as well. So pretty strong opening there. Now, Khan the Betrayer, it's always nice to get him out on the first turn. I have the level 2 version of Berserk. Unfortunately, he's being targeted now by uh, all of the enemy units. They're all shooting at him, so he's going to take a whole lot of damage here. Uh, extra damage from that tank buster because it has big game hunter. So he just lost a whole lot of health. And the Mecha Dread, I believe that is, on the, the left side. This is a pretty new card for Orcs. It has a shield, so that's going to protect it from this melee attack. Uh, Karn will easily take out the orc on the right side, but the others are surviving. Still have They still have two bodyguards left to deploy, and out comes another pretty big unit here. Uh, this is the Shock Jump Dragsta, I believe it is called. So lots of range damage incoming, and we have very little range damage to... Uh, counterattack. Now let's see, now we did take uh, a slight debuff because of the outflank, so it can't deal quite as much damage here. Be able to take out the tank buster in the middle, but unfortunately Karn the Betrayer is going to die here from the counterattack. So it's time to bring out the big guns. Of course they're also deploying their final bodyguard. Where do I want to put the Bloodthirster? Might have not been the smartest thing. We'll see what the... Okay, so they have a lot of really big units here. Uh, we've got a level 7 Death Dread. This thing has Berserk. So... Hmm. Okay. We'll put down this guy. Uh, he has Taunt, and he can absorb some of that damage. Although, we're still going to take quite a bit, I think. Okay, luckily, it took the brunt of the damage. And the Bloodthirster is able to retaliate with a whole lot of damage, extra damage against the uh, those big units. Uh, this is not looking so great though, because I don't know if I'll be able to take out... I have to really take out two of these bodyguards to have a good chance of winning, and it's going to be pretty tough. So, alright, we're going to put down the little blood letter there on the left, but I don't, I don't think it has enough damage. Does it have enough damage? To take out that thing. Well, we're about to find out. So here we go. And no, unfortunately, it cannot take that out. And, um, 
Yeah. Took out the vehicle on the right. The Bloodthirster is still at full health. Uh, but... Yeah, now... We're gonna be in trouble here. I think all they have to do is go melee and they'll be able to take out my... Uh, Warlord. Let's see, this thing has 57 damage. This thing, obviously, very powerful. So... Yeah, pretty much no matter what... Uh, I'm gonna lose here. So this will be my first loss in the campaign. Unfortunately. Unless they decide to go ranged but yeah they definitely have lethal here so unfortunately the skull crusher doesn't really have a whole lot of health that was the uh that was not really good um the, the opening i had was not very good because i put down two of those weaker demons and it would have been best to get that bloodthirster out at the beginning unfortunately it was not an option so yeah that is kind of the trouble with including uh, too many bodyguards in a single deck uh, you can't always get the ones you want out on the first turn. So, yeah, up until then, I actually won all of those battles quite easily, and I didn't even have to deploy the Warlord for most of those games. So, that was kind of a surprising loss, but that does happen. Uh, there is a little bit of luck involved in this game. So, anyway, I have been enjoying this campaign quite a bit because uh, the Skull... Taker. Skull Taker's special rule is a whole lot of fun, and it's very satisfying just to be able to finish off those enemies uh, with that uh, decapitation. So, let me know how you, uh, what you think of this campaign, and any questions you have, feel free to ask. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.